Of course not. I mean, I, I've been down to Grand Isle, as you have. It looks like the Keystone Cops down there. And and, and fortunately, you've given Billy a, a, a great pulpit to, to, to air that out every day. But for the president to sit there and say, don't worry about a thing. We're going to fix 90% of this by the end of the summer, and we got $20 billion, and everything's going to be cool. And in the meantime, we need to reach for the moon and, and go for windmills and alternate energy. I mean, that's just insane. No one is addressing the problems on the ground. What Billy Nungusser is talking about, hey, you know, we can't even get Coast Guard approval to vacuum up the oil. we got dispersants that nobody thinks is good. I mean, you, there is no one in charge. When the president last night said, you know, we have been in control of the cleanup since the get-go, I thought, why in the world would you say that? Because I wouldn't want to take credit for that myself. It's also patently untrue. Uh, David is absolutely right. This, if, if the president's going to say this is war, then act like it. Go to Congress, appoint the National Guard or somebody that knows what they're doing in charge of this. I mean, Thad Allen ain't, ain't getting it together, and neither are the 20 million subcontractors that BP is, is appointed and all and all the other federal agents that, that are that are running into each other down there, keeping every We're bit leave of there. from happening. Julia Reed, appreciate your perspective time. David Gergen as well. Next on the program.